That was a clip from the Switch port of Dead by Daylight. It had all of the intense, split-second decision-making thrill of the PC version and other ports. Now, for contrast, here's another clip. What a load of rubbish. The spirit lags like mad when she reappears after phase walking on the Switch, and that, combined with one of the prettiest and subsequently worst performing maps, combined with the console having to load in the explosion animation and sound at the exact moment she appeared, combined with the console having to then load and render the exposed effect from Haunted Grounds being cleansed, gave me about four frames in which to react. Not fun. The contrast between these two clips perfectly illustrates the problem with DBD on the Switch, and sets the backdrop for the rest of this video to extreme cases of great and terrible gameplay. Now let's get one thing clear. I don't think that the Switch port is bad. Far from it. In fact, let me paint you a picture. This was me the day that I moved into my first office. See, I run an app development company as my full-time job, and at the time it made sense to have my Windows machine in that office. My brother also worked in the same town. We both lived with our parents, about a half hour drive away. So, to save the train fare, I used to commute with him every day, leaving our hometown at 7 a.m., heading back home at 5.30 p.m. Running a business is tough work, and this left me basically no time for gaming during the day when I had access to my Windows machine. What I did have, however, was a Switch. The reason I bring this up is because I feel that in order to analyse a Switch port of a game, you have to understand first why someone would be playing it on the platform. The Switch isn't a powerhouse. No one is under the impression that it is. But what it is, is portable, social, and fairly inexpensive. A game like Dead by Daylight might not feel a fit on the Switch with its bright colours and focus on games rated E, but actually, there is a market for mature titles. For me, for a time, it was the only way that I could play a game that I love. So I did for 230 hours. And that is why I feel I'm qualified to say. The game is buggy, the game is laggy, the community even at rank 1 makes one of the most stupid decisions ever. Crossbot is going to be a nightmare because the game really goes above 24 frames per second, putting all Switch users at a major disadvantage. In order to complete great skill checks, the face the camera towards the wall so that your frame rate is higher and your reaction time can actually factor in. Spirit lags so much! Never getting any worse success feels like pulling up a 360 trick shot. Q times can be as long as 40 minutes. Rocket League runs at 60 FPS and Fortnite runs at consistent 30. Why is DVD so poorly optimized in comparison? Ah! But here's the thing, I love Dead by Daylight, and when the Switch port isn't bugging out or lagging beyond reason, it is the Dead by Daylight experience, for better and for worse. The graphics might be bad, the frame rate might be low, but the intensity is still there. And honestly, that makes all the bad parts of the port worth it. And here's the other thing, that hacking Demogorgon? Annoying, sure, but my teammates in that clip are my fiance, my brother, my brother's girlfriend. We were sat in their living room, hanging out, having a pizza, maybe a couple of beers. Sure, we could have set up big hefty computers in that room, but it's not the same as carrying this tiny console in your backpack and playing a few rounds whenever you feel like it. That is an experience unique to the Switch version of the game. And even though we were up against a hacker, we were having too great a time in each other's company to care. The coming rollout of crossplay will improve queue times and the quality of the community. Hopefully Behaviour will give in to that one Twitter account that keeps hassling them and optimise the game a bit better for consoles, but if both of those things never happen, I've still got 230 hours of mostly good quality gameplay from the port, and plenty of unique experiences that wouldn't have been possible on the non-portable consoles. So, for what it's worth, thank you for bothering in the first place behaviour. And for those of you who want to lounge out, lying on your bed, engaging in intense trials, pick up a Switch and pick up DVD for it. You won't regret it.